All right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 31 and verse 3. And it says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you, brothers uh, out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. Again, it's the brothers like a ride. Come back to you with another lesson, and Lord willing, this be edifying, okay? And it's going to be sh very short, not a very long lesson, but uh, I wanted to do it because it was something, it was kind of crazy, and um, you know, I'm not the only one. There's brothers in this truth that like uh, WWE. If you know anything about WWE, it's uh, World Wrestling Entertainment, okay? They used to be known as WWF. I grew up on it in the 80s, all right? Like my, uh, I had an uncle that was an actual wrestler, all right? He used to wrestle with the uh, OVW and some of the other like little house shows around here locally uh, in uh, Indiana and the Louisville area as well, okay? Uh, and he ended up passing away uh, some years back and what's crazy is that uh, When at his wake a lot of those wrestlers showed up it was, I mean man some of these guys were so big They had to go in sideways to get in through the door like these were some big guys man big arms Shit like I don't even think my whole body was one guy's arm. You know, I'm like man These guys is huge. All right, just like this guy here in his pictures name is Big E which Big E is a professional uh <laughs> professional uh, wrestler, all right? But uh, I believe he's he's retired because he had a, a incident where uh, some guy kind of like hit him with like a, a, a German suplex. You can look it up, look up what that type of wrestling move is. But he, they grab you, like almost like they're doing a homelick maneuver on you. They go from behind and then they just kind of like lift you up and throw you back. And you, 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 uh, you go over them and you land on your back and you fall out and stuff. Well, anyways, this guy did it to him on the outside, but the way that uh, he did it had Big E landed wrong and, and and broke his neck, man. You know, so uh, you know, and um, and I think that they say he might be scarred for life. You know, like he kind of healed where he can move. He's not in, in that pain like he was, but uh, he's gonna have to retire. He won't be able to come back after that injury. So it's you know it's kind of like man it's crazy you know but look he was in the powerlifting like he's a, he's a big dude look at that look at them arms and that chest you know he's very animated too see the big eyes he's a very animated guy but look at the pictures down here with him and his and his uh new woman okay this is what we're getting into because that's kind of crazy man and oh and it gets it gets it gets even crazier I'm gonna go to Instagram and pull up his uh, profile so that we can look at the uh, the images you know a little better all right. All right, so we're at Big E's uh, Instagram, okay? <laughs> and uh, like I said, he was part of a group, this right here, they was part of a group called The New Day, all right? Which, uh, you know, some of the other brothers in this truth, they're big fans of WWE and stuff like that. I think one brother got to go to the WrestleMania event and check it out, which I know that, that had to be dope. I've never been to a WWE event. You know, now I've watched uh, some house shows around here. You know, uh, I got to see uh, CM Punk before he, because, you know, he... He was, before he got signed with WWE, he was actually in the, uh, over in Louisville, uh, cause they had the OVW, which that's, uh, their contract with, uh, WWE and a lot of talent, they pull talent from there. That's where, uh, Batista, Brock Lesnar, um, uh, Batista, Brock Lesnar, CM Punk. John Cena, I think even Cody Rhodes was at OVW for a little bit. And my uncle knew a lot of those guys, man. I think he knew John Cena and them before they got big, man. You know, they were over there. Because John Cena used to be called the prototype when he wrestled here. Uh, Batista was known as the Le Leviathan. All right? That was his, that was his uh, wrestling name. Uh, I'm not sure where Brock Lesnar, uh, my old apartment when I lived in Clarksville, uh, Indiana, which is the city uh, next to the one I'm at now, uh, there was a tattoo shop. And, uh, you know, of course I wasn't in the truth yet. I ended up getting a tattoo. And, and that's how I found out that that shop I went to, they were the ones that did Brock Lesnar's, uh, that, that one tattoo that he has. I think it's uh, around uh, uh, underneath his uh, pecs, his, uh, around his stomach area. They did that one. At first, I thought they did the back tattoo, but I think it's the one in the front. They did that. And they, they got pictures and everything of him because they were like, you know, hey, you know, he told them, you know, he was a wrestler and stuff. But he went in there and they did his tattoo. 
But tattoos are going off, by the way. All right. You know, because even though I did that when I was in the world and ignorant to, to the matter, you know, now I'm in the truth. Hey, tattoos are wrong. You know, and that could be, that'd be a whole nother lesson, which I've done a lesson on tattoos, but that's wrong. All right. But I'm just mentioning that just because, you know, go along with this uh, lesson and stuff. You know, I just thought it was kind of neat, you know, but uh, but yeah, he's part of the group called The New Day. And like I said, he ended up getting injured. So, uh, you know, he's uh it uh it took him out which i don't know if he got any video clips in here if he shows any let's see he posts a lot but uh i don't know i ain't gonna i ain't gonna spend all that time looking for it but i wanted to pull this up okay and look he even tell you my neck is broken but my heart is full so he got a new girlfriend which is this girl here they're dating all right and you might look at her and think that she might be asian i looked it up she uh she actually, uh, cause her sister is a wrestler too, Mia Yim, which she comments here on there at the bottom. All right, and she says, "Hey, publicly official," like putting it in front of the public. All right, but um, Mia Yim is married to a wrestler by the name of Keith Lee. All right, which you know he wrestled with WWE too, but I think he's with AEW now. All right, a whole different company. But uh, it's these pictures. Look at this. You know, y'all know Jake ain't gonna be doing all this, man. Especially us that coming to this truth. Now we know Jake, you know, the two Thursday to all that folly, but we, you know, just showing you this, you know, wits for women, you know, they, they we do stuff. Look at this. If I if I pose like this, man, y'all know, man, Jake will be turn. Man, that'd be a thousand lessons done on me, man. This is crazy. But I, I just I'm like, look, look, and then they doing this one, like, man, this is crazy, man. All right, look at this. That's crazy. No, I wouldn't even trip about that one. You know, somebody still might say something. They might clown them for that, but that's wild. This one was the this was the icing on the cake, man, for me. She got my man out like a lawnmower. That's crazy. <laughs> that's wild, man. <laughs> this is crazy. But I, I just wanted to share that, man, just to show you, like, the scriptures is on point. Like I said, but we can, we can pretty much sh pull things out like this, man, and, and do a lesson on it and show you in the scriptures where, you know, what guys, the scriptures is telling you, Jake, w w man, for a woman, Jake will go out like this, man. And see, and she's an Israelite. That's an Israelite woman because their father is a Jake. You know, her and her sister, uh, Mia Yim. You know, they're, they're, they are, uh, they would be Israelites. And I don't know what tribe their father's from, but you can see he's a so-called black man, which, you know, a lot of that don't mean nothing too. You know, they could be of some other nation or whatever, but you know, uh, more than likely, I believe they're, uh, they're, uh, Israelites, but you know, look, this is crazy. Look at that. That looks real crazy right there too, man. That's like, she's the head of the household and he's the submissive wife or something that's crazy man oh no man this is crazy man man oh man we gotta go back to the lawnmower one real quick before i get these other scriptures like i said this ain't supposed to be a long lesson i just really want to show y'all that like you know this this is one example you know, a lot of things are splurging, uh, tricking, tricking your money. Uh, a lot of stuff. I did one of my last lessons I did on men going, uh, you know, uh, going all out for a woman like that, giving their strength onto a woman. This uh, guy, and even though he's a heathen, he's an Edomite. This dude was giving up thousands, but you know they in rulership, so they got, you know, a lot of them got it like that. But he was giving up thousands to this woman. Just he said, I just want you just to say something, just anything, say a word, you know, a word or anything. Like he was just like that. That's that's insane. All right, that's crazy. But yeah, this is wild, man. All right, so I just wanted to show that real quick. All right, so uh, all right, this is uh, First Ezra chapter four, verse twenty-six. It says, "Yea, many there be that have run out their wits for women." Okay and became servants for their sake and man looking at those pictures man that if that don't look like a servant to me i don't know man that's that's wild all right you see that's that's insane all right verse 27 it says many also have perished 
all right and have aired which i've looked yeah i've brought that word aired out a lot and air just means going it's air okay error going off all right many have perished have erred and sinned for women okay that's a heavy thing man that's a heavy thing man that's why you know the scripts i'll tell you stumble not uh at the beauty uh you know of a woman you know that's it's, it's hey man the scriptures is plain it really the bible man just really tells you how to conduct yourself you know and and keep you you know even in this this wicked ass uh so-called kingdom known as babylon the great america all right this is ecclesiastes 7 and verse 26 it says and i find it more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands whoso pleaseth god you know yahweh shim shai shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her so if you're a sinner you're going to be taken by her man all right so you don't need to go out your wits for women and give not your strength out to a woman or you're going to end up like 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 a big e man okay you're going to end up like this you know this is wild and like i said this wasn't supposed to be a long lesson this is something quick straight to the point i just got done doing a lesson where it was a part two uh on this uh this knucklehead jake man who thought he was doing something you know trying to come up against me so i looked on his page and seen all kind of like man what the what in the world you know a lot of exercise videos and stuff and he might say oh, i could post what i want and, and be both so you know but if i said that then I'll, i'm a rebellious jake but if i tell him hey the gym stuff is going off man you know and if you want to do something like that hey, you keep it private for your people but uh, you know there's people that's because uh you know, if that was me that did that, they, they would have said something. It's like certain jakes can do what they want. But, you know, like I said, I, I covered all that in that lesson, and that would be the end of it. Like I said, I, there was a part two because there was more that could have been said, and I, and I got it. So I said my piece, and, and low when that was edifying too because, like I said, the, the, the thing at the end of the day is you, we're not trying to shame you or make you look bad. We're trying to... Uh, Get, get you we're trying to uh whip you back into shape and not literally like whipping you or nothing like that but you know hey get you back into shape man and not <laughs> by and not the gym but spiritually man get yourself together man so uh you could be ready for uh the uh, coming of uh of our uh, lord and savior uh hamashiach yahweh shai man okay because we want you to be the first fruits of the kingdom as well man let's get out of this place you know this is hell, man. This is hell. All right. So that's that's what it what it's all about. And then also to edify those that are new in this thing, and just showing you that, hey, man, please study and prepare yourself, and also be circumspect of your surroundings, uh, and, and also how you conduct yourself. Uh, be careful. All right, and, and always try the spirit. You know. All right. Try try every spirit. You know, I had a blocker brother, and, and I don't know, because uh, he don't know if he's an Israelite or not, but, you know, he just says that he kind of hearkens to, like, some of the stuff that's happening. So, more than likely, he could be one. I don't know. But he was all in my inbox asking, like, a million questions. And I'm at work. I, You know, I take note, the uh, owner was at, at the job today, too. That's why I wasn't really too much active on social media like like some days I am, because he was there. And this guy, you know, the owner, if he catches you on your phone, he's going to fire you. You know, this guy's, you know, hey, he's, he he don't play. I think somebody, like, came in and they didn't get much sleep, so they kind of, like, dozed off for a second. You know, sometimes we don't trip about things like that on the job. We know it stuff be rough. But but he came in and saw that and fired and fired that person. So I was letting the, the Cuban guy that we have on there, I told some of y'all that follow, my, follow me, there's a Cuban guy on my job, you know, which is there, the tribe of Manasseh, all right, but, uh, he don't speak no English, so I was letting him know, like, hey, the owner's here, because he's always on his phone. He be FaceTiming his uh, old lady back in Cuba and everything. I told him, hey, man, you, hey, calm that down until he until he, he leaves the building, or at least he's uh, out of the production uh, area. He go back up to the office area, you know, because if he, he catch you on your phone doing all that, he gonna fire you, man. So, uh, you know, just, hey, and that's what we do. We give our people warning because I don't want him to lose his job, you know, because he's sending money back. You know, the income for a month for uh, people uh, out there in Cuba, some of them, I did a lesson on it. They're getting like $40. They live off of $40 a month. 
okay so here he's making more but at, but but the difference is i told him hey you're in babylon and and you you gonna be paying thousand uh, dollar monthly rent and all that so so you're still not gonna be able to send send a lot of money because his his old lady be hitting him up not trying to put that man's business out there like that but y'all don't know him personally but she she's she be on him because you know they they, they they need money they struggling you know but hey now he's here and he's getting this struggle you know that's why it's, it's best to just be where you at you know you come here because they hear so many stories but then you come here and you got bamboozled by esau because now you're here and you gotta pay all this money for rent just to live or you're gonna be on the streets and then your people that's back home waiting on you to send money you can't get it that's why like is a car people be talking about is a car but is a car man hey they they talk about all oh, they all pile up in one house hey that's smart okay they the only ones that they have that system set up like that and they'll and they work it out they all build their money up and then they can go out and, and get stuff all right build their, their stuff up you know these are the other tribes don't work like that everybody you know you 18 get out throw you out in the streets and you be looking all right but see here i am going into all that like i said i could go on and on man there's so much that you can cover and just bring out you know about our people you know they so, our people are a trip all right but back to this man look and look i just keep showing this image this might be the thumbnail for the lesson just showing that man that and i'm gonna put a lot more because this is crazy man this is crazy when i seen this i'm like man i got to show that you know this to show y'all you know this is what happens that's why the scriptures be warning you because you'll end up like this man and they might laugh oh man this guy's silly he's funny but man that's that's not that's that's actually sad because when you look at the scriptures, it tells you, man, we are we are royal priesthood. We're kings and priests. Kings and priests ain't doing this. Psalms 82 and 6 said, ye are gods. <laughs> Come on, man. What is this? I'll tell you what this is. This is madness. This is that Babylon wine, man. This is Esau. Esau like having Jake like this, man. This is, you know, Esau somewhere like the elites. They having a kick out of this, man. They laughing. Vince McMahon's probably laughing about this. You know, this is crazy, man. That's why we got to get out of here, man. We got to get out of here. I don't have time to be going back and forth with brothers. And, and, and I don't have hatred for no brothers or animosity, none of that. Even when I just did that lesson on that one brother. I'm going to animosity for that against that brother. You know, I was just trying to make sure if he was sincere or not. But I believe through the spirit he wasn't. You know, because like I said, you know, he started off with shallow wand then he he did the he said the rebuke and then he complimented me. But then when I just told him, hey, you know, uh, for future references, please just inbox me. And then he wanted to pull that precept. You know, talking about uh, open rebuke, but not knowing what open rebuke really is. You know, so I had to do a lesson to, sh to show it. Because a guy like him ain't going to get it. He thinks that just because you part of a camp that you you good to go. It don't work like that. Yahweh Shai had 12 disciples, all right? And one of them, and one of them turned on him. Hey, another one actually denied him three times. He told him that he was going to, and he said, no, I ain't gonna do that, and he did. When the heat, when the heat gets put on you, are you gonna stand for Yahweh Shai? There's gonna be people that might do that, and act like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. When Esau come down with great wrath, he might be hunting the Israelites down. He might pull up on you. You gonna act like you don't know Yahweh Shai? You might shave off your beard and have a smooth face. Oh, I'm, I'm African American. I don't know. You know, are you gonna be that type of Israelite? You know, that's a heavy parable when you look at that. You know, so does a lot of things, man. All right, and I just, like I said, you know, I just really was just going uh peeping at trying his spirit man and and then when you get this and then, like i said we always we're gonna scroll on your page and see what's going on but like i said i do take my hat off to him because his page is is public okay and he does have his youtube link in his bio so to where you can go get edified on his page a lot of these guys they uh they won't have they don't even have their youtube link on their, their page and then so how are you supposed to find their page so they're, they're, they're uh, shutting up the kingdom of heaven from men, from men and women and children and stuff. All right. That's what that's talking about when you read that scripture. Men having their pages where you where you can't have access to it. OK. Now, that's times where you got to block individuals. Like I said, I blocked the individual earlier because he was hitting me up with 50 million questions. And I, and I can't answer all that. 
you know? And I told him, I said, bro, I don't have that kind of time. So then he, he uh, I said, I, I, I be working and then I got to do lessons like this when I'm off work. Uh, I'm doing artwork, you know, posting that on there as well. Cause I felt, hey, that's part of the ministry. That's part of the ministry, man. Hey, part of my lot now. So I'm doing it, you know? All right. But, uh, you know, I can't sit there and just go back and forth with him all day. And you got a lot of these guys, they, uh, I'm not trying to like bear false witness on him or anything, uh, you know, but it's just some, some be kind of weird, man. They just got that weird vibe and just, you know, Hey, what's going on? You know, all buddy. I don't like, who are you? I don't know you. You just start following me and you all in my inbox, which I mean, it's cool that, you know, Hey, we supposed to conversate and get to know each other. And you know, you, you say, Hey man, you good brother. But when you just own there and you just constantly like, like, bro, you ain't got no kind of responsibilities. You ain't working and doing like, you know, for you to just be sitting here in this inbox messaging me 24 seven, you know, that's kind of weird, you know? So, uh, I just, uh, you know, and he just kept going on and on and on. And then hey, I got another question. I got, I got all these questions and asking real complicated, crazy questions. Like he's trying to, I don't know if he's just trying to see, uh, if I know uh, how much I know or what, and, and I was just like, oh man, this is good. You know, cause the scripture says be ready to give an answer, but then there's some stuff. And I told him, I said, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know everything. I don't pretend to act like I do know it all. You know, cause there is levels to this truth. All right. You know, but I have studied uh, in, 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 uh, in under, and got an understanding on, on uh, some things and I can elaborate. But if I can't answer a certain question, I will put you in the, in the path of a brother that could, or, you know, hey, you know, you can find another brother. I'm sure he's, he's following other Israelite brothers and stuff, and he's tapping into the videos. But uh, I don't know. He's, for some reason, he chose me, and he was at it, you know. And I didn't even know if he was an Israelite or not, because I like some of these guys there. Uh, you know, you got agents set up, and they're just questioning a bunch of stuff, trying to see what's going on, who you are, what all you know, and and it's, it's it's a lot of weird stuff and you just got to be circumspect of everything but he i don't know man something about it was just a little too much and i'm like yeah i think i'm gonna have to just go on and remove you you know but uh but that's pretty much it like i said this wasn't even supposed to be a long lesson and then you know here i am getting into some of these other topics the main thing here is don't give your strength unto a woman all right and go out your way like the wits you know for a woman so you end up like like uh uh our boy Big E right here man you know but she's a jake okay and that woman she's an israelite woman man you know so they're both israelites you know that's just showing you that we all come in various shades because you can look at her and just try to say like oh i got cousins that look like her you know because there's a uh, native american on both both sides of my family when i showed my great grandfather uh, somebody inboxed me and said indigenous, okay? Which he is, you know? You clearly look at him. When you look at some of those old Gadite, uh, the real, uh, those images, even though they black and white, you could just look and tell them that they are dark, man. They're like, like black, man. <laughs> like real dark, you know? And he looked like them. He's posted up. Like there's some of those, I could find one of those images and, po and put it side by side and it'll look just like my great grandfather. You know, and he's, he's living, man showing you i got uh some of his uh his sons one of my uh, uncles uh my great uncles because he's my great grandfather so my great uncle he's in a blues band out in like florida you know and he looks man he's straight up native american man <laughs> he got the 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 nose features all that man but he's heavy in that blues he plays travels uh on tour do uh blues and stuff like that you know so it's it's uh but like our people come in all shades man you know, so people would look at her and try to rule her out. Say, oh, she, you know, she's a heathen, you know. Hey, man, you got to, uh, it's, uh, you are the seed of your father. Okay. All right. So, Lord willing, y'all felt this lesson here edifying. All right. Uh, it's a lot here for, you know, sometimes, you know, jumping off into some other topics and things like that. It, but, you know, sometimes it's all the spirit at the end of the day. Just trying to, uh, make my call and election sure and, um, uplift, uh, my people, man, you know, edify, edify you, you know, and, uh, you know, share this word, share my testimony as well. Cause my testimony can act, can save a, another individual. Okay. And you might be struggling with something and I might bring out something that might, uh, be just what you're looking for. You know, if it's all through the power of your, how about shimmy, how shy. Okay. So again, Lord willing, you felt this here the edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. 
Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, shalom.